What's up, metalheads? In today's video, we are going to check out Model Fiesta 39 in San Antonio, Texas. Model Fiesta is an amazing scale model show that consists of a lot of scale models, historic models, and Gundam models. Not only is this event known for all of the large amount of vendors that you could see here, but also it's known for its painting competition. The painting competition is done based on first, second, and third place in each category. And last year, they had 755 painted model entries. And the new ones coming out from Japan are like 180 bucks. They even bucks. have toy vendors here now, as well are, that uh, sell figures and stuff. Mexico. A lot of, there's even sellers here that sell what's called garage kits. And garage kits are basically model kits that you don't commonly find at hobby shops and stuff. Hello, sir. Hey. Got some resin cast models and figures. See, those are scale models. Oh, that's for those models. <laughs> those model kits are pretty insane. You could get some really cool horror and modeling related and comic book related. Magazines. That's a good price for back issues for Amazing Figure Modeler, by the way. You can find some decor type stuff too that people like to sell. Uh, some sellers will also have things like model trains, war reenactment outfits and such. There's a lot of people who come here from all over for a lot of different things. Oh, here's some garage kits from Rick Cantu. Rick Cantu is an amazing painter. He's also a very talented modeler and he sells really cool stuff. So here's an example of some collectible and garage kit type, you know, models that you would see. Again, these are not model kits that you would commonly see at hobby shops and stuff. So basically, when you see garage kits, you're basically going to want to pick them up because there is a big chance that you might not see those particular garage kits again. Oh, these are the reliefs from Collapse Industries. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love those reliefs. But yeah, it's Rick Cantu's paintworks, and you can find them on Instagram too. He has his work on Instagram. But yeah, there's a bunch of different hobby shops that come here from different places. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm sure Matt's going to have to see this. That's a huge garage kit of Batman. There's a lot of people who sell Gundams too. Like I said, that's one of the things this show is known for is not just regular historic scale models and model cars and such, but they're also known for the Gundam kits. There's a lot of Gundam kits sell here. See, like even here there's a mix. He's got garage kits and he has Gundams because they sell really well here. Here's another garage kit. That's how it starts. I had to do that on And garage kits tend to be a little bit more on the pricier side in comparison to some hobby shop models. And this is because usually the garage kits are they're usually cast custom and there's usually only a very limited amount done of each one not just that but also because garage kits tend to also be larger much larger figures than average then they tend to use more materials time and resin which also means a higher price for so. oh filmies filmies girls these are amazing these busts, if you've never seen them, but these are Filmies girls. Sexy version busts and everything. Look at the paint job on that one. That looks amazing. I don't know who painted her, but you did a good job, whoever you are. Look at this one. How you been? How you doing? Good. I'm still, I've been still working on pimento sandwich that I got from you. That okay. garage kit of, yeah, of uh, Ermintrout. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
I'm still working on that one, but I'll, I'll get it done and I'll, I'll send you pictures when I get it done for you. Yeah, please do. Look at that one. That's pretty cool, huh? That's another example of a garage kit. This is also a garage kit. This is another thing that tells you if it's a garage kit. If you have the kit and then they show you a photograph of it painting, that's usually also a garage kit because there's not like mass produced kind of, um, you know, printing out of boxes that's done because like I said, these are limited amounts of pieces that get done. Look, see, Walt. So usually there'll be a photograph with a box attached to it or something. And that usually tells you that that's a garage kit also. So. Ooh. Advanced figure modeling. This might be a book I might have to pick up. Strongly recommended by Pegaso Models. Ooh. I might have to pick up that advanced figure modeler book from you. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. I will, sir. But yeah, that's it. Here's a, here's a look at some of the vendors. I'll show you a couple of more. But yeah, people sometimes also take this opportunity to pay for and rent a table so that they can get rid of their own overstock of models that they have in their garage and stuff. A lot of scale modelers tend to take pretty good care of their model kits and stuff and keep them in decent condition. So usually getting them from shows like this is pretty good. Here's the store at Gale Hobbies and you can find them at galehobbies.com. There's more Gundam kits. Gundam kits as far as the eye can see. And my friend Gerardo is also selling stuff. He's got some uh, Mecca Vallejo paints for two bucks a piece. Do you have a store or website, Gerardo, where people can buy your stuff? Well, we are uh, doing business with the Stephen Collectibles. So you may want to go to Stephen's Collectibles and there you have it. We're going to have the paints, uh, Amo Vallejos, Everything. So. How do you spell that website? Is it S T E P H or is it yeah, Stephen with a B? Yeah, S T E P H. Yeah. Stephen Collectibles in Facebook. You can you can find them as Stephen Collectibles, and they're here in um, in Universal City. So it's about 20 minutes from here or something like that. Thank so, yeah. you so much. Sure. Yeah. So definitely right. be sure to check it out and get some stuff from him. Hill Country Hobbies is also here. That's the owner standing there talking to somebody. But yeah, there's a bunch of different models that you can get. Then there's as far as the eye can see. This is in the San Antonio Event Center. And then I'm going to show you where our spot is. As a matter of fact, I'll show you that next along with the Gundam. All right, so here is the, our demo painting area. We got a few of us here and this is the schedule for the demos. Lee Forbes will be doing setting decals, action figure and sci-fi painting by Mike Cervantes. I think he just got here. Yeah, I think that's him over there. And then I'm doing figure painting at 1 p.m. I'm basically gonna do like a Q&A kind of deal so that way people's questions can be answered about certain concepts and stuff. DIY uh, decals by Renee Falk, so he teaches you how to make decals. And then Gundam Basics with Dustin Ward from the San Antonio Gundam Association. He's really, really good at Gundams and stuff, so I'm gonna show you that spot. So here's Saga. Saga is the San Antonio Hello, Gundam Fiesta. Association. Yes, thank you very much for attending Model Fiesta 39. We have a very special announcement. The judges' lunch, the judges' meeting is going to be at 11.30. So you still have time to decide to help us with judging. Oh. And then we have some, there's somebody there that's been uh, working on some of the So you may want to go to the judges and go to the judges. All about their gun And you want to be there and cheer for the judges. Thank you very much for your help there. At this time, we're going to have our door prize drawing. So you may want to come to the door prize table and get your ticket. That's one, but two of them is setting I know mine's a mess. I also got a 
want to get away with me and he has his stuff out. These were done by another member of the San Antonio Gundam Association. Mind you, this is preteen non military subject category. Another young modelers category. Doing all these metal. She's in total shock at how much detail that there is. I've got that and I've got to make it. And I'm looking at it and I'm all oh, good. No wonder I is still sitting there in the pocket. <laughs> those put together. That's gorgeous. Okay. Have you did triage course, my friend? Yeah, I was not this one. as enthusiastic about it. Because like, as you drop down, you can cut very, very slightly. I don't know if I would. You know, when you drop down. Yeah. the actual combat aircraft vintage magazine. But I would say I would you know, cool. say that. I would not get out there and yeah. say uh, that's kind of thing and uh, maybe discriminate here. detail on these.
Ooh. I'm gonna go around to the other side here for you so that you guys can see. That's nice, taking a main model and then adding in a space marine. I like that. This is one of those weird O models. Tiger stripes, nice. Disney Parks Castle, wooden modeling on that. That is something. Ooh, a box diorama. stuff that I've been putting aside to make a box diorama. I just have to decide what kind of box diorama I'm going to do. Isn't that amazing? That's just gorgeous. My gosh. It's Tom Sawyer Mark Twain.
I brought my Adeptus Titanicus for a personal collection category just to kind of just, just to show it. Because, you know, there's not a lot of Warhammer models in there, in here, stuff like this. So I just bring it just to show people other stuff. There are some people here that bring Warhammer models. this wooden setup that this guy has to display his tanks that's really cool these Gundams were done by a gentleman named Colin Colin is a really talented Gundam builder he absolutely loves doing Gundams that's like his big thing he bought himself some new kits while he was here too so I'm pretty sure he's gonna do some really awesome stuff with those LED lighting is in that. There's some GW right there. Oh, I like what they did on the base there. Look at those colors and how it contrasts with the blue. It really brings that out. Along the gray. Ah, leaf blower. That's awesome. Love it. We check out the spaceships. Close up so that way you guys can see better. I'm noticing this whole close up feature on the phone has been really good for showing off these models. Which probably should use it more. Oh, good job on that terrain there, whoever you are that did that piece. These are always fun when they put the lighting in there. It's sad that you've got too many scenes and too much misalignment. For a beginner, not so much a junior. Dude, you came. Well, you're doing it right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking some video footage for yeah. the YouTube channel. Yeah, making, making a video. I know your video is so great. You're going to win Best in Show again? Oh, I love it. Look at well, that OSL. Yeah. Uh, that would be nice. I mean, I've already won it four times since 1983. Yes. And if, like I did in Austin, after the fifth time, I've retired. <laughs> So I, I'm ready to retire here in San Antonio, too, like I did in Austin. You keep winning years. best in show, man, making <laughs> us all look bad. Alexander Wentz de Leon, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best modelers, scale modelers in the world. Thank you very much, and uh, my bling hat thanks you, too. Uh, what's your, <laughs> you still got the website? What's your website? My we, I, Well, I just got a new, a brand new, since June, Facebook page called Alex's. Art Milestones. And it's a page devoted, of course, to me. It's all about me. Woo, yes. Yeah. But I'm starting to put other artists on there also. Yeah. So you never know. You might be on there someday, too. Ooh, I would love to. I can only <laughs> aspire to such greatness. <laughs> yeah. But, of course, I'm going to have to go with, what's her name, uh, Miss Minnie herself. She's a real good friend of mine from Dallas area, but I forgot her name now. What's her name now? I can't think of her name. She paints the minis. I, I know you know who, she, who I'm talking about. She's from Dallas. Wait, what's what's her what's her name you said? Vivian? No, no, no. I can't think of her name right now. Darn it. But my short-term short memory loss is starting to kick in. Oh, that is a creepy looking troll. They call her the queen of the minis. So this is yours? Yes. 
Yeah, I like the eyes. Thank you. Blending. Is that the one that you use? Uh, oil? Yes. How you doing, Lynn? Oh wow. Good. How are you? Did you do a demo today? Yes, I did at one o'clock. No, you're okay. You know you can always message me and ask me stuff too. <laughs> you're good. Oh, how did your art show go? Oh, good. It went really good. Uh, it was great because there was a lot of like canvas art and other kinds of art and sculpts and stuff. And the fact that I had miniature art there really opened people up. And they were like, what's this? What's this? You know, and asking a lot of questions. Yeah, so that was really good. Oh, yeah. not know anything about it and all of that stuff. So we go in, and he's the first one to order. And then I tell him about Arthur and Henry's Buffy. I was wondering what all this with the flowers was. It's silk flowers. It's gorgeous. Did you make that? Yeah. Oh, it's ba it's beautiful. Thank you. From the tree in front of my house. Oh my goodness, he used bark from the tree in front of his house. Well, I just End used it as a reference to paint and texture the, like the dress. He uses oh, so you sculpted the entire thing? Yeah, it's an original sculpture. Oh, Christ. Covered with sculpey hair, or silk flowers with stems covered and painted. The eyes are glass texture, paint on dress were matched. Piece of bark from a tree in my front yard. If you look closely on her back, you could see mushrooms commonly found growing on trees. And this is the sculptor himself. What is your name, sir? Chris. Chris. Franklin. What was it? Franklin. Chris Franklin. That is gorgeous. See people? Think outside the box and look what you can come up with. This is just amazing. It's so well painted. Thank you for sharing this with us. And that's the video. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check us out on the web at www.metalheadminis.com.